What's up everyone, we're back in the shop for another video. I have been wanting to do this video for probably two weeks now. I got this package right before I went up to camp. Uh, I think it was not this past, I think last Friday. Uh, I left on a Thursday and got it that Wednesday. So we weren't able to fit it in the schedule this past week. We are just super, super busy. Plus I did the video with the floral carving. So thank you, Tandy Leather. Big shout out to Tandy Leather, they sent me this. So let's go ahead and open it and we'll see what we got. Uh, let me grab a knife, make sure we won't cut ourselves. Okie dokie. I should have a knife just to cut past the over. So first things first, what this whole entire video is going to be based off of. We have the Tandy Leather the Sneaker starter pack so this is the, this is what the video is going to be about but i wanted to make sure i got the uh see all the stuff we got this is going to be cool i cannot wait to do this so next we have i do believe this is the old world side old world side of tooling leather we will be tooling on this for this project this is a three to four ounce and i do believe yes we do we have a bag to go shopping on Black Friday. So, I don't know when you're gonna watch this. Hopefully it's gonna be soon. Black Friday sales are going on right now at Tandy Leather. So much stuff discounted right now. Go there and buy some stuff because insane deals, insane deals right now. So that, let's get this box out of the way. It's kind of funny because this box has been so tempting. I've been looking at this box for the past two weeks and I've been wanting to open it so bad, but I wanted to wait to do it for this video. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to actually roll this side of leather out, check it out. It's really, really beautiful. Can't wait to tool on it. Like I said, we will be using it in this video. So, let's go ahead, go over to the layout table, and we will unroll this and check this side out. <clears throat> All right. Let's open. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let me, uh. Look at that. That is, let me get the paper out of the way. Check that out. That is absolutely beautiful. So we will get to dig into this sucker whenever we start on these shoes. So let's go ahead, let's go open the shoe up, uh, the, the sneaker kit I should say. And let's get start working on it. So just looking at the front of the package itself, <clears throat> some of the things that we are going to need is one, all in hand thread. We're going to need these right here, these little eyelets. See those, you can buy them in 100 packs from Tandy. And then the setter for those as well. And then just some, uh, I believe that's double sided tape and a knife. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm struggling over here to cut plastic with my, <laughs> what's it called? Yeah, we're going to go with. A head knife. It's leather. It's a leather tool. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, <clears throat> so in here we have first off the pattern. So there we go. Check that out. Let's open this up even more. I'm going to have to. Here we go, look at that. <clears throat> so that's, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, mm, we're going to have to figure something out. I'll read that. 
I will read that real quick because I've never made a pair of these. This is new to me. And I'm sure it's going to be new to some of you. So here we have, okay, so we have the actual instruction book in here. All right. Let's read this over real quick. Okie dokie. So let's check this out. All right. So my understanding, let me read this real quick. Let me set this to the side here and kind of read this over because there's like 10 different patterns on here. It's like, so, okay. So high top, mid top, and low tops. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to actually go with the high tops. So let's go ahead. We're going to actually just take this pattern itself, the top and the tongue, or I should say the sides and the tongue. We're going to cut these out and then transfer them to the leather. Okay, so we have the patterns cut out, and yeah, that's what that was. The, all them other patterns, it is for the the low tops, the like medium tops, and the high tops. Like I said I did pick the high top pattern, and so we're gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna get this uh, scrap out of here, and we're going to cut these out on leather. Let's go ahead and grab that side over here and start tracing the pattern out on the leather and get them cut out. So we have the pattern down. I'm going to use these little weights here to keep it in place. I'm just going to use a scratch on to mark this pattern out. I don't typically use pencils. You can, you're more than welcome to. It's just, uh, after watching Jeremiah Watts saddle making video, he does not uh, approve of pencils. So I've just always gotten into the habit of not using one. So let me cut these little divots in here. Go around to the side. And you can use chrome tan. You can use really any different leather that you'd like. I'm just using this veg tan because I'm actually going to tool these up. Okay, we got that pattern down. Okay, we got that's the same one we need. You gotta watch, these are there's one for a left and there's one for a right. So I'm actually just going to very lightly just put a small L in there just so I can see it. So I know which shoe is which. Okay, so let's go ahead, get away from that a little bit. <clears throat> and we will sketch out the second one. So if anyone wants to do one of these with one of them crazy horse sides, I would love to see one made with like that turquoise color one. I feel like that'd be really, really nice looking shoe. I just, I really want to tool these up bad, so. <laughs> uh, so we're going to tool them up in this video. I said I probably will kind of just speed up the whole tooling process because it's not really informational about this video. It's more or less just kind of my own design. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Finish marking these patterns out. Scratch them. Cut them out. One thing I do need. I need to buy a new cutting mat. <laughs> Mine has seen better days. If you haven't noticed from my previous videos. There we go, we're going to work our way around the shoe. And actually, I'm probably going to go back through 
go back through with this pattern and cut these slot lines out again and remark them. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, let's go ahead and grab the tongues now. And we will sketch the tongues out on here as well. They have, like I was saying earlier, they have some pretty, pretty nice uh, stuff on sale right now. With Black Friday going on at Tandy. I was just down there yesterday. So I typically go to Tandy at least once a week. And I really just go down there to hang out and uh, talk to people. If I'm being honest, I do more talking than I do buying. But yeah, I want to go down there. They got some really nice sides. Uh, I want to pick up. Okay, so got that one. Let's do this. about investing in some new uh, some new bevelers I love the ones I have now but <clears throat> I I love using my number uh, I think it was zero number zero edger craft tool pro but goober me let it roll off the table and broke it <clears throat> so I don't know if you want to try out one of the Tandy Pro ones so what I was talking about before, these lines right here, the stitch line, I'm going to cut that out again, and then we're going to retrace that onto the pattern, so that way I know where to stop my tooling at. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, we got that stitch line cut out, so now what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back through this pattern actually and this one is where's it mark at oh where's it at where's it at where's it at? all right so this is the left so I'm just gonna line this back up just like so And we are going to stick these here. <clears throat> and then we're going to use our scratch all. And we're just going to mark that border there so we know where our stitch line is going to be. And we can stop our tooling there. <clears throat> You don't have to worry about this part if you're going to be uh, not tooling it, <clears throat> but it is nice to have to line up as well though. So Okay, got that one. Let's come over here, do the same thing on this side. I use some pretty nifty uh, kits. I remember when they first came out, I wanted to get one really bad. And just so happens that here we are making one. Got that pattern done as well. Set that to the side. And then the left is this one. So grab the left tongue, line that up. Lefty hears dogs barking and he's getting all rowdy. Just mark that as well. Do the same thing on this side. 
and yes so now we can go ahead and cut all this out punch I'm gonna punch these holes out on top of this pattern and we're gonna transfer that over onto our leather so we know where not to tool at <clears throat> you can just tool over top of it and just punch your holes over top of that but I just just me personally I like how it looks whenever the uh, the holes don't combine with the tooling That one. Let's go over here. Get this one real quick. This is really cool though, making the entire shoe. Like I said, I've been doing them hey dudes and twisting X's and all that stuff for quite a while now. But it is really cool actually making it from uh, scratch. That's one thing that really caught my eye with this. So. <clears throat> I might have to order a couple of these. So these would be really good Christmas gifts. Okay. So let's grab that. Grab our patterns up. And so this one here, I don't see any marking on it. So this one must be the left here. Looking for that teeny little L. You can barely see it, but it's there. Uh, shoot. I gotta put my bifocals on. <laughs> oh, the L's in here somewhere. Yep, this one is the L. Okay, so this is the right. So we're just going to, once again, all I'm going to do is Take my scratch all. Uh, actually, no. We're just going to use the same exact punch, and I'm just going to barely press down, and you don't have to go through it. All we're doing is just making marks to where the holes will be at, and that way, when I go to draw my border on, uh, it's just one last thing that I have to worry about when it comes to the the placing of the floral. So there's no marks, just very, very faint impressions, so that when we start drawing, we know where to and where not to put the floor at. All right, let's go do this side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just use a pencil in here, or you could even take your scratch all and just pop a quick little uh, dot in there just so you can see where it's going to be at. But this way works just as good. And it's already sitting there, so I figured I might as well put it to good use. Okay, sweet. You can see on there, you can probably see the slight impressions on that pattern. So, uh, right now, what I'm going to do, it's a whole time lapse. I'm not going to include all the drawing and carving and tooling and all that. I will incorporate some here and there, but we're going to come back when these are all tooled up. All right, I finished tooling everything up. 
and like I said, you don't have to get this crazy with this. I just uh, like to tool a lot. <laughs> so after spending half a day tooling, we're back at where you'd be if you rewind it and you just cut your leather out. Me, I'm not going to line it. I like the feel of it, the thickness and how it is. So I'm not going to line it, but I will show you all how to line it really quick and easy, just in case any of you uh, want to line yours. So pretty much all you do, see you're lining this. This is how I would line it, of course. All I do is literally pull your backing piece on like this. This doesn't fit, of course, but then I would sew all this right here all the way around to this bottom toe as well. And so that way, whenever you go back through with your hand, with your, uh, your all, you hand stitch, you'll be hand stitching all of that in already. So all I have to do is glue this to the backing and then sew that lining piece just on the top and you'll come back through with it at the end. But we're not gonna do that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back through and I am going to place my eyelets. I do not have, it doesn't say, I don't know what size I have. I just know that I have these, these ones. <laughs> so I'm going to go through, grab my eyelets, my eyelet setter, where it's at, here it is, and the actual setter itself. So let's go through. I'm going to grab my all, I mean my maul. Of course I have nothing on the table where I need it. And we're just going to go through and punch those out. Nice and easy. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for laces yet. You can see that. Punch those out. Yeah, I'm not too, too sure what I'm going to use for laces. I'm thinking of cutting down some latigo and then using that but I'd like to use some white kangaroo lace but I don't have any quarter inch lace on me I only have three thirty second and eighth inch and I don't feel like that would look as good with this wide of an eyelid let me go through on this side now punch these out Not sure why I decided to completely tool these up like this. Took half a day to tool it off and draw it up. But, uh, kind of happy I did because these look cool as can be. And do I have another hole up there? I should. I should up there it is. Okie dokie. I'm going to move this now. We are going to use our eyelets right here. Grab a whole handful of them. We're going to need them all. And then setting these eyelets is super, super easy. All you do is you take it, put it through the hole. Oh shoot, I might have to put a bigger hole in there. Crap. Okay. Negative. I I actually need a bigger hole. I just use this one for the template, but we need a bigger one. So I'm probably just going to go back through. I think I need, yes, I need that one. So I'm going to stop the camera real quick, go back through, repunch these out, and we'll come back to setting the eyelets. We're good now. So like I said, these are super, super easy. All you do Stick your eyelet in there, put it on top of your setter, then just like that, she's set. So let's go through and we will go through all this. I'll probably speed this process up because it's pretty much just doing the same thing over and over and over. So speed it up.
All right, we are ready to start stitching them up. So to make this easy on us, what I'm going to do is actually look at this real here. And we have kind of a border. I said when I first marked that, there's a border going down there that kind of shows the stitch line. And if I put that right, that border should match up perfectly with that. Oh, it's backwards, but but whenever you do that, that bottom line should match up with that line that we put on the calipers, and that will line our stitch line up perfectly. It's kind of sound confusing when I said that, but it makes sense, I promise. <laughs> So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm actually going to, like I said, we're gonna use some double-sided tape and we're going to get these set in place like this. And then we will start sewing them suckers in. Okay, so I have a mark in here somewhere. This is R. So this is the right. So we have, this is our left. This is our right. Okay, so it'll be something like that. Cool beans. Now I'm gonna kind of want to. I'm gonna kind of take this and mark this with pencil first. I want to get this all in place beforehand, and then mark it down with a pencil. So that way, whenever we go to line it back up with our tape. We're not struggling. So we gotta make sure it gets lined up correctly. All like that. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and make sure all oh, this is lined up good. So excuse me, don't mind me. I am Fin around a real second. You can make sure this is pushed back good enough so that way she lines up good. Okay, so I do believe we should be good there. All right, so what we'll do now is take some double sided tape. like that and let's put it on the bottom of our piece here just like that kind of curving it around this stuff sure is sticky slice this off where's it at That works. Okay, so I'm just gonna work them crinkles out real quick. I don't think the double side tape is supposed to bend or curve. That's right. We'll do it in sections this time. So we don't have to deal with that. <laughs> And this is literally just going to keep this in place whenever we're stitching it. We're not, it's not supposed to be, this isn't holding the shoe on, of course, but. All right, so this is left, right. So it's very carefully, without anything sticking quite yet, kind of want to work this back into the heel of this. I want this all to stick properly. Just like that. This part probably going to be a bit of a pain, but to make sure everything lines up right. All 
But just take your time with it. Take your good old time. shoot I put this tape up here just a little tad bit high you want to pull that off and what to call that unless we can get it to stay in place for us like that actually all right so double sided tape is just not having it unfortunately so let me take a break and figure out how to do this all right Tape is a no-go for me personally. What I found is a good way to do this. All right, you take your awl, poke a hole in where you usually lace it, or you put the thread through, all right? And then I put nails in. So the holes aren't gonna matter anyways because you're going to be running thread through it. But yeah, I just took these little tack nails, all right? And then put it on there, and that's what I hold these on with. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start stitching these. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some thread. And yeah, let's get to stitching. Okay, well, <clears throat> pretty bright, but this is how I'm sewing it. <clears throat> so you're going to do a saddle stitch, and you're going to follow the holes. So I'm starting here, this bottom one, we're going to work our way around, all the way to the other side, and then come back down and end that stitch here on the opposite side. So just taking your awl, you can use a speedy stitcher, but I just had an awl, got some hand thread, tandy as well, and then these, uh, they're kind of a wider uh, eyed needle, so you can fit that thread through. Gonna sit there, go ahead, hook that hole right there. Bring your, oh, oh, I didn't have my all my tightened down all the way. Oops. Let's pull that out. There's a little bit of mark from the, the what's it called on that. <clears throat> have to clean that off real quick before we stitch in more. So let's go ahead, throw our needles up through there. One in and one out. Let's pull that through. And just like so, pull it through, take that thread up and around, and so on. I don't, I'm not going to have this entire process on this video, just for the fact that there will be literally like an hour and a half of just stitching. But as you can see, that's it. Let's go all the way through. Oh, I need to put my O back on. So, which one is it? Where is the, I have all of my, there it is, all right. Excuse me, need to tighten that sucker down. But all right, just going back through. Let me clean this off real quick because for some reason, Get that dirty a little bit. Go to the next hole. Kind of go ahead and get it reamed out. Same thing. And you're going to do this process all the way around the shoe. Both sides. So we're going to come back after we have this process done all the way around the shoe. She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right Never meant to 
make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up feeling worse And then you check the time It's never what it feels like, just throw me a dime If everything was good, then you would feel alive Okay, I think the camera might have died, but like I was saying, when I go through, I'm gonna put a line this center up, put your toe up in there, same thing I did in here, stick a nail in each corner until you get your first stitches in, so that way everything is lined up. And you see that stitching line we have? I'm gonna pay attention to that. So every time we go through with our awl, what you're going to do. Let me get this line back up with this hole. Gonna go through that hole, it's right there. And then line it up on the inside with our stitching line. Be very careful not to stab yourself in the finger. I do feel like I'm about to do it to myself. You don't have to keep the screw, I mean the nails in the entire time. You just wanna get your first couple stitches, stitch or two in there just so that way it uh, holds it all into place and you can work your way around it. So I'm going to go in here, finish our first stitch up, or at least try to. Okay, let's go back through that. And okay, let's pull it all tight. All right, I'm gonna pull it all tight. Now that we've got that first one down, I'm going to pull these nails out because as of now, we have all the, uh, it's all lined up. So now we can go ahead, pick this up a little bit like that to stitch it. Like I said, every time you stitch, make sure it goes into that stitching line. If you go above it or below it too much, it's gonna throw your whole pattern off and it won't fit correctly. So let's go through, I'm gonna stuff this back down in here. Take my all, keep your, uh, it pushed up towards the shoe as well. Just like that. I gotta be able to see what I'm doing here, but. So okay, we're gonna go through that all. Just look back here and make sure it's in our stitch line. Stitch line is right there. It's okay. Push it back forward. Go ahead, run that through. All right, then we can run our needles through. This is probably the complicated part of the whole shoe project, in my opinion, just doing the toe, because it can be a pain sometimes reaching up to get that 
needle up in that shoe. But as long as you have everything lined up correctly, you can do it this way. And then just as you go around it slowly, it worked its way back down. So pull that tight, same thing on this side. Just double checking, making sure you can see your stitch line. We're going to take our awl and we are going to go down, do our stitch line again. And run it through. So just kind of like we did the tops of when we did the sides of the shoes, I'm going to throw it on the time lapse so that way we're not sitting here and watching me hand sew for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that. And we'll come back after we're uh, everything's all sewn up. back in it just like that and now let's make some laces so I'm gonna go look and see if I have any quarter inch kangaroo lace if not we're probably gonna cut up some latigo and make laces with that all stitched up the insoles are in uh, I was going to go through and use latigo but <laughs> you're left with a squeaky toy but I cut out some kangaroo lace and we're gonna lace up this first and see how it looks so yeah, let's just go ahead and run some lace through these shoes. Uh, how do we want to do this? Maybe the rue, I don't know. I think the rue looks nice. Go through. Good enough for me. Go ahead, go through one. I haven't laced up shoes in a long time. <laughs> I remember how to do it. Hey dudes aren't too hard to do. And we'll go through that one, up through the opposite. Opposite. We gotta take these down a little bit. Let me go through these ones now. And then we'll tighten it up at the bottom. I don't know, I'm kinda liking the way the rue looks. I'm kinda kinda digging it. This is definitely one six set of shoes. Okay, we're just slowly working our way up. I'm using eighth inch. If I had a quarter inch, it'd probably look a lot nicer. It'd look more full, I guess you could say. Go ahead and kind of tighten this up just a little bit, just so we can get that through. Okay, let's go through the top here. Go underneath, underneath, and just like that. We have laces. So I'm actually going to stuff this up. I'm going to stuff this shoe with leather or just with some towels and then tighten it up so like it's on a foot and then you tighten it. So far, pretty clean. Okay, let me go ahead, grab out this lace. We'll do the same thing on this shoe. And all in all, that's that's pretty much it, folks. Uh I don't, I hope I explained it well in this video. I explained it the best I could do it because of course, you know, this is the first time I've done it. And, but overall, like I said, this is actually, you know, a, a pretty easy pattern. It's, it's not complicated. Oh wait, did I do that right? Wait, I'm confused myself over here, folks. 
So I went through this one. Then we went two, 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 two. Okay. Man, I was just confusing the heck out of myself. But, yeah, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done it. And, you know, it's honestly a really, really easy pattern. It's not hard. All you got to do is follow the instructions. I mean, I could have had this shoes done hours ago. But, you know, like I said, I wanted to pull it up really nice and pretty for you and for TikTok. But if you have any questions, if there is something that I missed, go ahead and drop in the comments. I mean, sometimes I think I say, hey, do this or do that. But sometimes I do forget. So pardon me if I did that. I'm not sure. I don't think I did. I think I covered most of it. But let's go ahead. I'm going to stuff these up real quick and finish lacing them. And we'll come back for the end result. All right, folks. That is a wrap for the sneaker starter pack from Tandy Leather. So on this project, I promise you, it is so easy to do. Uh, I would literally give this to someone who's never done leather work before. I mean, the only thing you need to know how to do is hand sew, and you can watch a quick five minute video on YouTube and figure it out. <clears throat> so on these shoes, this is how they look all finished up. They turned out pretty, pretty cool. I'm really happy how these turned out. There's one shoe and there's the other. So, like I said, two things I didn't do. Well, I held up four fingers, but two things I didn't do. One, there is also a, uh, a tab here for the back of the shoe that they have a pattern for in there as well. I just kind of liked how it looked without it. And also, I did not line it. Super, super easy to line it, like I explained earlier in the video. All you do is just like putting backing on a, uh, just any project, except on the pattern itself. Sew the top part. So on the pattern, you want to sew from down here all the way up around, back down to here. But you don't want to, you would not want to sew that bottom part in because whenever you hand stitch them to the actual soles, you'll sew that part in. But I said, that's also something to take a couple seconds, but I didn't have really anything to back it with in my shot. And this is more of kind of just like a uh, conversation piece. This isn't for a customer. This is just, just for show. And yes, they are, like I said, I was going to do Latigo on the laces, but I think the white kangaroo looks pretty good. Uh, and yeah, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that's kind of a wrap for this video. I want to say a big, big thank you to Tandy Leather. They sent me that Old World Veg Tan and this sneaker kit to do this project. Be sure to like this video. Like it up, share it, comment, and hopefully we can get some... Uh, more collaborations going on with Tandy Leather. So this is where I'm going to end this video at. I hope you all enjoy making these. They are super easy, like I said. And tag me in some videos if you're making these. I kind of want to see what you all can do with these shoes. So, all right, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching. <coughs>